Namaste. I have heard concerns from Hindus across Canada regarding recent developments. As a Hindu member of parliament, I too have experienced these concerns first time. Last week, I could safely participate in a Hindu event in Edmonton only under the protection of RCMP officers as a group of Khalistani protesters staged a disruptive demonstration against me. In Canada, we have long recognized the serious problems of Khalistani violent extremism. Let me be clear, any actions or involvement by foreign state actors within Canada in any form are unacceptable. As Canadians, we do not wish for Canada to interfere in the domestic affairs of other countries. Likewise, we do not want foreign governments interfering in Canada's domestic matters, including those involving Khalistani extremism. This is a Canadian problem and it is a duty of all levels of our government and our law enforcement agencies to address it. At Monday's press conference, RCMP Assistant Commissioner Brigitte Govin confirmed that the National Task Force is focused on investigating Khalistani violent extremism among other threats. We know that extremism and terrorism don't recognize and are not limited to national borders. On Ka Canadian Khalistani violent extremism, as Canadians, we expect our federal government and its agencies to collaborate with other affected countries to protect our citizens. RCMP Commissioner Michael Dume stated at the same press conference, quote, there is a violent extremist threat in Canada that Canada and India have been working on over the years, unquote. However, recent revelations and developments are impacting Canada and India's ability to collaborate on this issue. It is critical that we all recognize the importance of eliminating cross-border threats posed by Khalistani extremism and resume our efforts to address it effectively. The persistence of Canadian Khalistani extremism is rooted in the political patronage these extremists enjoy. As Andrew Coyne wrote in the Global Mail on September 22 or 2023 about Canadian politicians quote, attending rallies where terrorists were glorified and terrorist attacks praised. Political leaders in this country of all countries should not be encouraging separatist movement in others, especially those that advocate or engage in violence." Unquote. Unfortunately, I am yet to hear any politician or government official offer reassurance to Hindu Canadians, many of whom feel concerned and fearful for their safety in the light of recent events. To my Hindu fellow Hindu Canadians, we are one of the most educated and trusted communities in this country, contributing greatly to Canada's progress. Yet, our low profile is often mistaken for weakness by politicians. I pledge to do my best to advocate on your behalf. However, my efforts alone are not enough. The only way to have our concerns addressed is for Hindu Canadians to raise their voices and hold all politicians accountable. Together, we must ensure that our safety and interests are protected. Dhanyavad.